the big army would come to okay so I'll just keep this one and he has plus two defense okay and the battle is going yep and here comes reinforcements as you can see we're kind of winning yeah we just got the numbers yeah Okay, and there's a 6th Regiment Army coming to Arnheim, and another 6th Army Regiment coming to Arnheim. Okay, so let's move to Eindhoven. Okay. Well, no. Uh, can you take the army in uh, Ghent with your army? Sure. I'll head right there right now. And I'll just blockade it like it. I want them to, you know, attack and deplete their armies on us before we actually invade their land because the last war decimated my armies. Right. After taking care of this one in Ghent, I could uh, put some troops in Middleburg. That would be probably good. Just follow them and destroy that army. That's, that's the best way what we can do now. Sure. Can I guess we can set set a Virgo later on to gain a province? Okay, so are they attacking or are they not attacking? Hmm. Is there a fleet, fleet here somewhere? I'm a bit afraid to scout, you know, the coast of Holland because of their fleet, but no, they don't have any other army. Oh. So I'll just go and attack them. Wait, I'll just choose a good general. Yeah, this one's good. I'll just go to Kent. And I'll send this one up to Rotterdam. Oh, no, Arnheim. I see some fleets, uh, some Dutch fleets swimming around, but... Oh, yeah, it's like they got like a bunch of like one-ship fleets kind of putzing around. Yeah, the battle in Arnheim is going mediocre. Not good, not bad. Okay, we won, so let's follow them. How many soldiers oh. do can I support in Arnheim? Cool, that's nice. This is going pretty well. I'm waiting for the big army to come because they had an army of uh, more than 30 regiments and they have more armies than we do because when you check check the amount of uh, soldiers they're marked very high you know above us right. so it means that they must have more armies than we do. Yep, and I'm 46, almost halfway occupying Middleburg. Cool. Okay, let's add a Vorgo. Uh, acquire state. I could gain Friesland for, oh my god, 14 infamy. And what is Oof. my, what is my infamy, actually? Well, it's 9 out of 25, so I can handle it. Okay, so let's go for getting free swamp. Okay. Well, is 9 plus 14 less than 25? Yeah, it's 23, so... Yeah. We should be able oh my to goodness. That. that would be awesome. It would be just Holland left, pretty much. Yeah, true. Um, you can't get that because it's their capital, but then you can just ask for colonies. Oh, that's true. I could ask for something. Okay, I'm gonna send well. six soldiers to 
I don't want to get like ahead of ourselves here. Yeah, that, you never that's know. true. You never know what happens. And in, in case you demand too much, I think they are able to call on uh, their allies. By the way, folks, North German Federation was formed. I'm not sure if we mentioned that. And it was formed at the same moment that the Dutch declared war, which just made me shit my pants generally because I thought that it was the North German Federation who declared war. That would be game over for me. You know, I would have to give them everything they want. All my colonies, yes. everything. You know, no discussion. Yeah, that, that would have been just a disaster. But True. But nope, it's the Dutch. They're just acting up again. Which is we need to put them back in their place. Yeah, every time I uh, played uh, Belgium, you know, they just declare war and lose, and win again and lose again. So I'm, I'm not actually sure why <laughs> they do that. And uh, I'm almost, I almost got Middleburg. I'm at almost ninety percent now. Okay, I'm gonna send the wounded regiments back to Brussels to because they they can't you know support themselves. So. Okay, and I'm gonna send six more reg regiments to to what is it? Asen? Yeah, Asen. And all right, I'll send my army Middleburg up to. Uh, Grongen, or actually, it's Grongen, uh, if I'm not mistaken. I'll send, up, I'll send them up to this one, uh, this last army here, take care of them. Okay, no problem. Actually, we'll go this way. We don't want to cross the water. And Amsterdam's at 75%. Cool. So actually they're losing quite fast and to acquire three cent oh my god I need war score of seventy nine. Now I wonder if I can add a war score. Um I mean war goal. Add a war goal and Oh I can't. I this will caught it's kinda of grayed out. Oh, Add a war goal with the Netherlands. That's what I want. I would like a place in the sun. Um, maybe I should ask for Dutch Ghana or Dutch Guiana. It's up to mm. you. But I don't think we oh. would be able to ask for all of that because even now the war score is just incredibly high. 79. Let me... Let me uh, Okay, they're offering white peace. I'll decline that. Okay, we now have war score of 32. So if you want a colony, choose one that's really not, you know, like... Oh, okay, like really, really tiny. Yeah. Maybe, uh... Okay, let me pause it here. Let me look around. Okay, sure. See, see what they got here. Oh, well, gain... Oh, that... Um, I changed uh, my government again. I made uh, state-controlled trade unions. So. How about? Maybe, I think I'll ask for uh, Dutch Ghana. It's just one province. It's right in between United Kingdom and France's uh, Ivory Coast. Yeah, the Sokondi is a good good province. I asked for that once, and it's a good good place. If you plan to colonize, this one is good because you can just you know go straight up from that, and it's a good starting point. Yep, and let's see, Dutch Ghana, yada yada yada. Okay. Okay, I have added that my my war goal. Okay, so we'll see what this will do. Okay, Utrecht will be conquered soon, so I'll just pull out from there. All right, and Amsterdam's conquered, so I'll just. Head back to Belgium. Okay, can you wait in Amsterdam for a moment? Oh, sure. You so saw this. This is just a pop which cannot support the army, and you know if you move through there, I'm gonna get attrition. In quite oh, okay. high one. Oh no, actually the support supply limit is 14, so you be be my guest. So All right. I should have checked that one before.
Okay, so if you want any ships, uh, do you have any ships? If you want, you can. Yeah, I got some. You can stop conquering some islands, but Netherlands have quite a strong army. Oh, I mean, like a well. fleet. Oh, they aren't they blockaded me? Did they? Yeah, actually, they got me with four ships. You should do something uh, with the blockades because the blockades are, uh, you know, lowering our war score. Yeah, I got. They got four frigates blockade me, and I got four frigates and three transports. So I should just be able to just bowl them over. I, I guess with the transports, I don't know if they do anything. Mm, I don't know either. So. Let's see. Okay, Utrecht has been conquered, so we can pull back from there. So are you going to attack the fleet in Ligurian Sea? Uh, I think I'll give that a try, but see how that a, goes. I'll get, get a dude to lead your army first. Uh, your navy, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, got, I got one. <laughs> okay, oh, I got a peace offer. What is it? Oh, they're offering me Dutch Ghana, so just go ahead and take yeah, that. Yeah, sure, go, go for it. I'll, you know, resiege the provinces I need. All right. Kick ass. Mm. I got a colony. Okay, I'm now going for Amsterdam. And... Oh, you're gonna go for low button. Okay, good Good for you. You gained a colony. Thank Sweet. I have yeah, my Monty place in the Ghana. sun. <laughs> nice. I love the sound of it. Ooh, and I got an event, Colonial Oppression. <laughs> nice. Yeah, good to know that you're no better than all the other colonial oppressors. That should make you feel much better. It makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. I'm quite sure about that. Yeah, I got low life rating, low uh, economic output. Oh well. Colonial inefficiency and economic monopolization. Huh? <laughs> nice. Well, you have 26,000 people there, so let's check back on that uh, after a couple of days to see if it's growing. Because, you know, Aruba is now at almost 20,000 people and uh, Zoo, uh, Curacao is almost at 40,000, so the population nearly tripled. What I'll do is I'll, uh, since it's such a low population, I'll encourage bureaucrats there. See if I can get, because uh, I won't need as many bureaucrats, so I can see if I can make that a state really quickly. That's true. And I got a major, oh, major and discovery, I can... which inc uh, advanced ore roasting processes. So I get iron production plus 10% and mine science plus 1. Oh, and I get a reform. I'm going to go for... Um, oh my god, me too. Okay, so I'm going for the no socialist uh, allowed. You know, my immigration now should be just crazy because I'm up to 1.36 million people. That's, is it it? Uh, I have almost uh, 120,000 people more than I had before, if I'm not mistaken. Not to mention what will happen when I get, uh, you know, a uh, free swamp. Nice. Oh, and I got... Jacobin Rebels again. Oh, isn't that just nice? You yep. must be so happy. Can you... Can and after I drive... Oh yeah, but it's a minor one, so you deal with that easily. Yeah. And, yeah, they're, they're not that many. I just did a voting reform here, so now I have kind of a, uh, a weighted voting system, so that means I get some more immigrant attraction, and the middle class actually get uh, a a little bit of a vote too. Oh cool, and Free Sun is now only 48 war score, so, war score, so after I get Amsterdam, I'm good to get it. Awesome. Uh, by the way,